Hey everybody. Um, I didn't do an unboxing, but I'll just go ahead and show you these statues. They pretty much come in just two pieces. Uh, you know, the statues attached to the base. You just have to insert really the wand that they both hold. But this is uh, some older statues. It's Gentle Giant Harry Potter and Voldemort. So I'm a pretty big Harry Potter fan. I always, you know, enjoyed the films. They're very entertaining. There's like eight of them. And, you know, I saw these statues. They're not too expensive. Uh, you know, they're pretty rare. You know, they're sold out. You can really only get them on eBay. I, got, I feel like I got a pretty good deal. And, you know, in the pictures, they look really good. And in person, they look even better. The details are really good. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at Voldemort. So first, the base. It's like a grassy stone base. You know, almost like they're fighting in a, a field. Uh, by Hogwarts and this is mixed media so that you know this is cloth and Voldemort looks just like me looks very sinister and evil very cool looking you know this look at the detail on that face I guess even see little veins on his face and look at that arm there he is holding the wand very cool looking his hand I think that looks really good so I'm very impressed with it. It's, these are technically considered one-fourth scale. However, I feel like Voldemort seems a little bit small. It's only 17 and a half inches, almost 18 inches tall. I don't know if this is a true one-fourth, but they're bigger, you know, big statues. Harry feels, you know, right. You know, he's like an 18-year-old teenager. But he's also on a, a matching base. Uh, you know, it's grass. It looks really good. Very detailed. He's also mixed media. So, you know, here he is. I wonder if you know, even see. Yeah, they even made the nipples. There's his abs. Uh, the the mixed media on this is excellent. You know, it looks really good. You, know, you got his little symbol right there for him being on the his team. The likeness is very good. You, know, you can see the little scar in his face. It looks just like Harry Potter. And this looks just like Voldemort. The likeness is like 99%. There he is holding the wand. You know, I inserted it into him. And they fit nicely here in a best just like that. You know, like they're up close in battle about to strike each other with a spell. So this looks excellent. I really like it. Some of my friends made fun of me for getting Harry Potter statues. But, you know, you buy what you like. I like this. They're very detailed, not too expensive. One four scale, you know, and a few years from now, it'll be very hard to get these. I mean, they're already pretty old, but I saw like a like one or two on eBay, so I jumped on it when I saw, saw them and got a good price, and I'm very happy with it. I like this. This is awesome. Mixed media, perfect likeness, great pose, awesome base. There's really nothing to complain about. You know, these are two awesome statues. You know, they look very good. The likeness is awesome. You know, just look at Voldemort. He looks awesome. Look at that face. Very cool looking. You know, even his hand, the way it's posed, the mixed media looks awesome. But here they are, Gentle Giant Voldemort and Harry Potter, one four skill statues. I don't really see any videos out there, so I thought I'd make one to show it to you. Should be getting a few statues next week and I'll, uh, my basement's about a week and a half away from being finished and I'll do a huge room update once I get that done. So subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, join my Facebook group if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, DBZ Resin Collectors. So that's where you get all the best DBZ Resin news. Hope you all have a great day and a happy Halloween.